Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we will be reviewing the MaxFind Max2 Pro electric skateboard. Right off the bat, this skateboard looks quite impressive. Looking at the specs, it seems that you are getting quite a lot of value for your money here. However, we'll put it to the test ourselves and see if it actually holds up to their promise. Before we jump into the actual tests, let's just establish a quick overview of the specs on this skateboard. It's available in two models, a single edition and a dual edition. The single edition has one 600 watt motor, whereas the dual edition has two. Now the main differences here are that you get a slightly higher top speed, you get better acceleration and better hill climbing ability. The top speed is around 20 miles per hour on the single edition and 24 miles per hour on the dual edition. As far as range goes, both go around 15 miles on a single charge. They use the same battery, so the difference is very small here. However, it's worth noting that with the dual edition, you are powering two motors. So if you do fast acceleration and do the full top speed, there's a chance that you will run out of battery a little bit faster than with the single edition. In terms of hill climbing ability, the dual version is better than the single version, and that's because it has more motor power and better acceleration. The single edition is able to handle hills of around 20% grades, whereas the dual version can go about 25% grades. So if you live in a hilly area, you may want to check out the dual version instead, since it will be a lot easier to go up and down hills. Both versions are very lightweight. The single version is 12 pounds, whereas the dual version is around 14 pounds. It's quite impressive that MaxFind have been able to push this much power into such a small package. Alright, so let's get on to the actual tests. I'll tell you what I really enjoy about this board and what I feel MaxFind could improve upon in the future. The first thing that really caught my attention was the very unique design. I like how MaxFind have gone in a completely different direction than most other e-skateboard brands out there. This skateboard has a carbon fiber print on the back which looks really really nice. Rather than using a traditional maple deck, the Max2 Pro uses eco-friendly composite. This means that the board has no flex at all, but it also makes it a lot more lightweight. One other thing you'll notice is that this board does not use regular grip tape. Instead, MaxFind have developed a rubber plastic sandpaper made from PVC. Now the main advantage of this is that it protects you and your clothes against annoying scratches. At first, I didn't really know how to feel about it, but after riding it for a while, I've actually come to really like it. Even on bumpy roads, I haven't experienced my feet slipping whatsoever, so it seems to work really well. I'm not sure how the rubber sandpaper holds up when wet, but I imagine it'll still do its job just fine. This brings me on to another important point. This board holds an impressive IP65 waterproof rating. Personally, I don't like to ride in the rain, but knowing that it's possible and that the board is properly waterproofed is very nice. So I've had the skateboard for around two months now, and I've been able to do some tests to see how the range and the top speed holds up. As far as range goes, I've been able to consistently get around 13 miles on a single charge. Now this is when I'm riding in the second speed mode, which is around 15 miles an hour on average. And I've done the same trip a few times and I get anywhere between 12 to 14 miles. And as for the top speeds, it was a little harder to test because the controller itself doesn't have any LED display, which I think is something it kind of lacks here on the MaxFind 2 Pro. So I had to use a speedometer app on my phone to test it out, so there may be slight inconsistencies. But according to this app, I was able to get 34 kilometers an hour, which is around 21.2 miles per hour. So I'm pretty happy with that. The wireless remote for the Max 2 Pro is very basic. It's ergonomic and it feels pretty good in the hand. But personally, I feel it lacks some kind of display to visualize speed, battery level and the setting you are on. You have two main buttons. 
the power button which you can hold down for a few seconds to turn it on or off, along with a speed mode button to shift through the three different speed modes. On top you have a throttle wheel that works for accelerating and braking, alongside with a switch to change the direction of which the board goes in. With this remote there's no way to see what speed you're going at or what riding mode you're in, which is kind of annoying. I guess that's one of the few drawbacks with this product, and obviously MaxFine had to cut costs a bit in some areas to bring such a budget-friendly value-packed product to the end user. Luckily, all the other MaxFine boards except from the Mini come with improved remotes with better functionality and LED displays. Right, so let's talk about the ride quality. This board uses 10.6 inch unbranded trucks and I was very impressed with the responsiveness and the stability of them. The total length of this board is 31 inches, so I guess it can be considered a short board. The wheels are 90 millimeters and after riding for several months, there doesn't seem to be much wear and tear on them whatsoever. I guess that's a testament to MaxFind using quality components even on their budget-friendly boards. I will say that road vibrations are pretty strong if you go on rough surfaces. I can't say this was unexpected either, it's really just the combination of plastic deck with no flex and the use of hub motors. On smooth surfaces however, the board actually felt pretty great, and the board itself feels really stable when you're on it. Okay, so it's time for our final verdict. All in all, the MaxFind Max2 Pro is a solid choice if you need a lightweight and reliable board to ride around the city or on campus. The main selling points are its beautiful looks and its portability combined with solid power and range. The remote could have used a little bit more work, but if you don't care about being able to constantly see your current speed, it doesn't matter that much. Although similarly priced shortboards will beat the Max 2 Pro spec-wise, you'll have to look for a long time to find a board that looks as cool as this. Lastly, MaxFind offers 9 months warranty on all of their boards, which is better than most competitors in this price range. If the roads on your commute are bad, you may want to look at something with more flex in it, like the Max 4 Pro or the new FF series. But if you just need something to get around your local area efficiently, the Max 2 Pro is a great fit. If you do decide to go for the Max 2 Pro or any other MaxFind board for that matter, Feel free to follow our affiliate link in the description for the latest and best discounts and to support the channel. Thanks for watching and have fun on your next electric skateboard.